Welcome to the first episode of Behind the Bar. Today we're at Europa Weightlifting Club in Crayford and we're going to be interviewing Jack Oliver. Jack is a multiple British record holder. He is hoping to become a two-time Olympian, having represented Great Britain at the 2012 Olympics in London. Enjoy. So, uh, when you guys walk in the gym in the morning, is it like done, boyfriend, girlfriend, hat off, coach on, or do you, do you sort of manage to... That's how I would like it to be, but it's not like that with Sarah. I think that's women, isn't it? It's just... I mean, it's probably hard work. Don't ever coach like a girlfriend or you know, I'm, 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 anything I'm, I'm, like that. I'm quite it's, surprised. it's not worth it. Um, um, is there any prospect of this going to stay that way? Because you don't trust anyone else to do it, I'm guessing. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I mean, it's hard work for you. I do enjoy it. Like I enjoy watching her do well. Um, and like you say, I don't trust anyone else to do it. So I'm not going to change that. Um, but yeah, she's doing well. Gradually, she's giving me less and less grief as she sort of realise I, I do have a bit of an idea about what you think. She's getting better as well. She's to be yeah, to exactly. So, you know. How is she um, looking coming to British? Yeah, she's training really well at the minute, so it's been nice. But like, um, when you say about it's we don't actually train together that often because she's a part-time teacher on. She works Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So like, and that, because I was coaching in the past, we jumped 5 to 9 or Monday and Wednesday, so I was only really able to see her for like, Twice a week um, with her sessions. Um, so, but now I've stopped working there and doing only my own kind of stuff on the British Way and workshops. Being able to spend a lot more time with her in the gym, you know, sometimes I train her after sessions, I'll go in and just roll whilst I'm coaching her and so on, uh, give her proper attention. So, I think that helps a bit anyway, um, yeah. just giving her some proper attention because really she's only been lifting like three years, sometimes even I forget that. So, I think I can just kind of leave it to her own devices and the way that I just get on with it myself. Whereas in reality, you know, she does still need a bit more support. Um, so, you know, I'll accept that one, that I need to do a bit more sometimes. So 100% for the win for the British? Yeah, of course. Happy days. We don't, we don't lose. You heard it first. Um, so, obviously the Rio Olympics, the pop you've got the Rio Olympics firm on your sides, and um, you're obviously the top ranked male, so yeah. if, as long as you're fit, which I'm guessing is your priority as well, what are your plans after the Rio? Are you thinking three Olympics, knock on the head, exclusive? What's uh, I don't really know. Like a few people have asked, and like, I mean, my knee's still pretty bad. Like after the surgery, like before the surgery, it was like nine out of ten. Like I went to cry to that pain. Now it's like five out of ten. It aggravates me, but I can deal with pain. And so I think that needs sorting again, basically. Um, so it'll probably be surgery after the Olympics if I go, and then take it from there. Have a bit of Rest time, but then obviously it's only two years or less to the Commonwealth Games, so I need to sort that one out and get myself a gold medal. Um, and beyond that, no idea. The come on, come on, obviously, next year as well, you, you're probably going to have to send a pretty decent men's team to the Europeans. Is that you, yeah, yeah, so that's to be part of that? Yeah, so like, really points. next year's Europeans are anyway, really, I've got to find them, uh, met any men for the Olympics. Like, but if we send a full team, like. We've got some good guys at the minute that could do well and get us that spot. So like, it's me, Gaz, uh, Darius, Owen, Sonny, you know, all these people are coming into some really good shape. If we could send those, you know, we'll get that spot, we'll get at least a spot. So, you know, but yeah, obviously I, I want to I wanna do well there anyway, regardless of like, if nobody else went, I'd still be having the same aims for it, trying to get them, well, get myself in that A group and get myself a decent result. Um, yeah, keep improving. How, how far off were you from a gold at the 2014 Commonwealths? And what's that, what do, you think, what do you think it would take to get a gold? I'm trying to think of it about, it's just under 150 or 180, a few kilos less than that. I so mean, what, I, what I've done, 45, 75, I think that would have got me, it, uh, it would have got me a silver medal actually in the last Commonwealth. But, you know, I think the Commonwealth records were like 149 snatch. So, I mean, I want to be snatching 150 this year. So, mm. I'll, be, I'll be setting the records really when I go next time and, you know, doing it properly. You so know, making, making a point and just getting in there, getting my medal without any sort of issues. And it's Australia as well, which is. Yeah, it's a good holiday now. <laughs> Such a good thing, isn't it? Um, so, what about your coaching business after? I guess you just keep on expanding. Um, as you, as you go, does yeah. Sarah do much for that as well? Yeah, so like, so when I run the workshops, generally I'll get 
aim for 12 people on them, so I won't coach that by myself. I'll have Sarah and sometimes another coach on it with me, depending on how many people. Um, but that's the main one that she does with me, like the workshops, the program and stuff, that is all my own. And then when I need someone else, I drag her in, basically. Um, you know, because I know I can rely on her because I taught her how to lift, so anything that she says is exactly what I would say anyway. So, you know, she's, she, she's a good coach. Like, I've been a watch her coach and, you know, I trust her and she does a good job. So, yeah, she gets involved with those things. It's cool. What, what's, what are you not going to miss about weightlifting when you hang your boots up? Sore knees, sore back, sore shoulders, sore, sore wrists, everything. It's been broken. Yeah, basically. Feeling like trying to get out of bed in the morning and, like, I can't bend down to put my socks on, you know. I'm hoping that stuff will go away. Are you going to plan to lift at all or are you going to knock it completely on the head? No, like, I'll, I'll be in the gym. Like, I mean, Andy, I was Andy, it's 47, I think, now. Yeah. He came in the other day, he's still, like, power cleaning reps on 100. Like, he, he'd probably power clean 140 if he had to still, and he's getting on for 50. Um, so I'll be doing bits, you know, because I want to stay involved in weight. I want to coach weightlifting and, you know, I want to be involved in it. So if I'm going to be in the gym anyway, then I'll do a little bit of training, but I'm talking, like, a little bit of training, not eight sessions a week. I'm talking two or three times a week, doing a few squats and you know keeping my body moving. National team coach. Yeah, well, at some point, you know, yeah, that's uh, that's how I get to my third Olympics. I'll be the I'll be the head coach by then. You know, yeah, so I'm not sure where I'll still be lifting. So if I'm not lifting, I'll go as coach instead. Sweet, sounds good. What best stats? Stats can jerk and squat and stuff. No matter what weight, even if you were slightly fat. That 146 snatch, I did um, at the English, yeah. my best snatch, my best snatch in training, 142. Um, so yeah, my best lifts are all in competition. Um, 180 in jerk, 85 in European juniors, a couple of years ago, and again, I'm not even that man training. My best clean jerk in training, 175. So, so there you go, 5 kilos more in comp. Um, yeah. Back front squat. 210 front, 240 back. Sweet. And uh, deadlift. I've deadlifted 230 and that's it. So no, less, less than my back squat. Yeah. Uh, what about press? Strict press. You've done it? 95. That's still pretty strong. And I was fat. <laughs> Sounds good, right? Um, and a 135 bench as well. 135 bench? <laughs> yeah. Which means you still there? No, I tried last night. I've not <laughs> benched in 2013. I did 125 last night. My great big bounce, and I'll put it on Instagram later. But like, um, when I was heavy, I did a fair bit of bench, but I struggled with my shoulders. But I was when we were still training Leeds Met, I was 2013 or 14. And I did it like I was doing it like proper strict how Ali has to do it because Ali was there watching me, told me off otherwise. But I got up to doing like 130 for reps on bench, strict with a pause and that. But these days, like I've got no chance. I've got such bad shoulders that it just hurts. So like they got the bar. Would you have a program bench for a weightlifter? No, but I program like presses, um, especially behind neck press, a bit of mobility at the same time, dragging out. But like I program in pull ups, um, presses, bent over rows, all of that stuff. Like I've, I've not got a problem with bench. I might have programmed close to narrow grip benching actually, um, as tricep work, like I put dips in and so on. All of that stuff, I think, is good. Like you've got to do it. Like if you want to be able to hold 180 above your head, you, you got to struggle if you can only press 60 kilos with that stability, so I'm a big fan of all of that. That's cool. Uh, right, 10 quick fire questions. Just got to say first thing that comes to your mind. Yeah, yeah. Snatch or clean jerk? Snatch of the minute. Oh, at the minute. What about the jerk? It was clean jerk for a long time, and I finally got better at snatch again. <laughs> snatch generally doesn't hurt as much. It doesn't hurt me in the effect. Definitely snatch because my knees hurt so much on clean and jerk. Right, okay. Favourite weight of the rule time? Oh, I love Taco. I think Taco was brilliant. Yeah. Like it was good seeing him and Akaya compete as well and that at the Worlds. But like since you know, since I started lifting you know, on YouTube and you find his videos and like Taco was just awesome. Like I just like he's a good showman, you know, you come in out like in some competitions they've got a headband, he was roaring, all that stuff. I love it. I think it's brilliant. Like this put some excitement in weightlifting. Um yeah. and Klokov did that like you see the Chinese lifters and they walk out and like they do a lift and like they want to go medal they just drop it and walk off like this, like back home wherever they're going. Or his clock off, it's like roaring arms in the air. Like I love it. Like he's, he's a good showman, so yeah. Clock. Favourite cheat meal? Kebab. What? No, Donna? Yeah. Yeah. He's dirty, he's Perfect holiday. 
I don't really, I don't really like holidays. <laughs> like, um, it's no gym. Yeah, I enjoy training. I enjoy being at home. I just get bored. Like I'm going on holiday this year. Like, I try and find a costly gym and go and train. I'm going to my parents' house in Spain, and like I just get bored of doing nothing. Even like when I'm at home, if I'm not doing something, then I'm like. I know what to do with myself. I sit down for so long and I'm like, right, what's next? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And what is boring? I've got the skin for like some even have I? So, um, not really a holiday person. Uh, favorite protein powder at the moment? What do you use? You might have a sponsor you can drop in there. Yeah, I don't. No? No, but I like them. <laughs> Go on, we you. use, we use, um, we did have a discount for optimum nutrition, but that's just gone to British Way if you had a deal with them. And I can't afford that anymore because it is unbelievably expensive. Um, so Jackie's looking for a protein sponsor. Yeah, literally. Cool. We went to order it the other day and without a discount, we got nothing. So I just stand. We're just, I'm not taking anything, just eating. Nice. It's, it's cool. Uh, second favourite sport outside of Uh Probably gymnastics. Not that I ever did it properly, as we said earlier, but it's just cool and like. It's hard work. If I had stuck, like, if I had been given the option to do gymnastics when I was younger, like, you know, like, when kids start four years old, then I would have loved to do that. Um, but I quite like sports, you know, I like rugby as well. And yeah, I, don't, I just, I watch any sport really on TV. Fair enough. Just because you're bored, you just need to watch something. Yeah. Desert Island Disc. Do you track the Desert Island Little Bit of One CD you can take with you? I've got Savage Garden, I've got two Savage Garden CDs. I think I'm not sure if they even had any more CDs in that Savage Garden. I've got two of their albums in my car. That's, um, that's probably the last thing that's been in. I only have about four CDs in my car. <laughs> we'll take that. Pre comp song. What would you listen to? Don't you know it? No music at all. No. As, um, I can't come all that. It's too, I don't know, it's a bit. It's a bit showy, all that. It's a bit, it's a bit too much for me. I just. We never. Like, yeah, we used to have a radio in, in the old year when Terry smashed it. Someone got a new one, so Terry smashed it. <laughs> like, Andy used to come in the gym, and if someone had music on, he'd be like, What's that rubbish? Turn that off right now, I can't hear a thing in here. So it was like, yeah. we, just, we used to never have music on in here. So, like, the music I'm waiting for were just like completely, there couldn't be any more separate. The only song Andy would let you have in the gym was Cheeseburger in Paradise. It's his favourite song. Um, so, unless it was Cheeseburger in Paradise, like, it, that's that is that's the theme tune of weightlifting. Happy days. Right, mate, thanks for giving us a Cheers. Really enjoyed it.